gamers welcome to the channel i hope you're doing well thank you so much for joining me today i'm bringing you game review number five and uh if you haven't seen my previous game reviews uh, please feel free to check that out i'll leave a link to that right up here and then uh, these games all come from my uh, stream so if uh, you missed that feel free to check that out as well i'll leave another link to that right up here and then also, if you uh, have any game footage of yourself uh, that you would like uh, to see a game review on, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to take a look at that. Uh, or if it's for anybody else in particular that uh, you have in mind, uh, please uh, let me know. Um, anyways, if you like this type of thing, uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you could. I'd very much appreciate that. Anyways, with that all out of the way, let's uh, jump into it and get into this review. All right, so first up, I like to always uh, look at uh, my opponent's um, unit deck and uh, compare that to uh, mine and see if there's uh, any differences, what uh, advantages there might be, and uh, see from there kind of develop a uh, strategy going forward. So um, first uh, we have the uh, Scorpion and the Blink Hunters, and I have the Recalls and the Blink Hunters as well. Um, so no clear advantage necessarily there. That's just going to come down to who is playing better um, in those matchups, basically. So. Next, um, let's look at the Tier 2 Foundry options here. We have um, the King Crab and the Heavy Hunter, which is the same as my Tier 2 Foundry as well. And then uh, if we compare that to my uh, Tier 2 Starforge units, um, we can see that he would probably have a pretty good advantage against me. If I go into uh, my Starforge and he goes into his uh, Foundry, then his Heavy Hunters are going to deal very nicely uh, with my uh, air units, and the King Crab will deal uh, pretty well against my Recalls as well. So I would uh, say that he's got a little bit of an advantage there if he goes um, Foundry and I were to go Starforge. So let's look at um, the Tier 3 Foundry next, and we can see he has the Behemoth while I have the Heavy Ballista. Um, and so I uh, would give a slight advantage to my Heavy Ballista there over the uh, Behemoth and uh, everything else that he's running there in his uh, Foundry. Um, the Behemoth is a very good, strong, uh, tanky unit. Um, however, to me, the Heavy Ballista is just one of the best units in the game. Um, it does a ton of damage and um, is pretty tanky as well. So I would uh, give myself a slight advantage if I got to Tier 3 Foundry against his Tier 3 Foundry. Um, however, again, if we look at um, the Starforge, uh, I would still give him the slight advantage uh, if he gets up to tier three foundry versus my uh, star forge and tier three star forge so uh, the valkyrie that i have isn't going to uh, do <laughs> anything really in, the, in that regard so um slight to advantage to him there um but then let's look at his uh tier two star forge and uh he's got the uh, falcons which are very strong and the uh, butterflies as well again the uh, same star forge as i have so if we compare his uh tier 2 star forge to my tier 2 foundry again I, I would say i think i should have a little bit of an advantage over him there um because of the heavy hunters uh however if we just go uh, star forge to star forge it's uh, the same units so uh, once again there should be uh, no clear uh, advantage it just comes down to who's going to play that matchup better However, so if we look at um, the Tier 3 Starforge then, um, we see he has the Advanced Spot, um, and I have the Valkyrie. And so, uh, the Valkyrie obviously would do very well against his air units. However, uh, the Valkyrie is actually going to lose against the Advanced Spots. Um, so I would give him a uh, bit of an advantage there with his uh, Tier 3 Starforge over mine. With uh, that said, um, I would say my strategy uh, should be to stick to my Foundry probably, um, and to see if I can get into that Tier 3 Foundry as well. I think that would probably give me my best uh, chances against him. And so from here, we'll uh, let this play out, see how it goes, and I'll probably skip ahead a little bit to see, uh, you know, get into some more of the action and whatnot. So uh, it looks like we're both expanding, uh, and we're waiting to see uh, what my opponent does. I will typically try to play a little more uh, reactive when I'm playing with the recalls. Uh, the recalls are a very good, strong uh, defensive unit, so I usually like to play more defensive and more reactive when I'm playing with the recalls, and kind of wait and see what my opponent does and just try to counter him from there. So we'll see how this uh, matchup goes. And so now it looks like uh, he's teching up. He's going into his uh, uh, Starforge here, which is uh, an interesting choice for him. I do feel like I should have the uh, better units here with the uh, King Crab and Heavy Hunter. So I think that's a good choice for me to go into that. Um, now the only question is, it uh, looks like he's uh, bringing in some <laughs> Scorpions to sneak attack me here. Um, looks like I bring everything back. Uh, I didn't need to bring everything back there, um, but at least I was able to get those Scorpions before the Scorpions did any damage. But now you can see um, I'm not quite ready for his second uh, sneak attack here with the uh, Scorpions that he's bringing to my uh, first uh, resource base here. So um, a bit of a mistake by me there. It looks like I'll probably end up losing some uh, workers here. I'm bringing in all my uh, recalls now to take out his uh, Scorpions. 
So uh, he ends up getting six of my workers, it looks like, and um, I'm not sure, uh, you know, based on calculations, how uh, effective this would be. Um, I was able to wipe out his entire group of scorpions. It was quite a few scorpions. So um, again, I don't know what the calculation is for that, um, if that was worth it for him or not. But um, overall, I don't think it's too bad of a trade uh, either way. Um, so uh, I wouldn't say I, uh, you know, win or lose the game here because of that. Um, but uh, I think I definitely could have played that better um, regardless. So now I'm moving out uh, my recalls and expanding into a third base. It might be a bit uh, too risky um, for me to go for a third base um, just yet. However, with my Foundry units, I feel like I should be able to counter him pretty uh, well and effectively, assuming I uh, play it correctly. So I think I should be able to defend this, um, assuming everything goes right from here on out. So I think it's a pretty good call for me to go for a second uh, resource base here, um, but uh, let's see how the rest of this plays out. I'm uh, moving up with my recalls here. Um, and I think I'm just trying to get in position where I can kind of see what he's got going on. And I'm trying to wait and see if he uh, expands as well. And it looks like he's not going to uh, expand. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to um, play very defensive here and uh, try to hold against his uh, all-in uh, push here. So he's going to be making what I can only assume are the uh, Falcons. And here they come. And so I'm already making my Heavy Hunters in anticipation of that. Uh, and it looks like he's even got a, a few uh, dragonflies coming, maybe. So um, I think um, I do okay here with my positioning. Um, it could have been better. I need to try to um, kite the scorpions a little better with my recalls and try not to lose too many of my recalls. They're going to be um, pretty important at, at this point uh, for trying to uh, tank the falcons to some degree while my uh, heavy hunters uh, take them down. The thing with the heavy hunters is they're not like such a hard counter to the falcons that they just immediately automatically win um you need to still be careful with the falcons and try or with the heavy hunters you need to try to be careful with the heavy hunters and you still need to uh, kite the falcons if the falcons uh, manage to get on top of your heavy hunters the falcons will actually destroy those heavy hunters pretty quickly um, so it's not a free win by any means so you still need to be careful with that so not the greatest positioning by me i need to try to do some more kiting here and probably more focused firing as well um, he sacrifices a uh, uh, dragonfly there so um that's a nice uh, pick for me um, let's see how the rest of this plays out. I'm doing a good job of taking out the uh, scorpions, but uh, I kind of lose track of my uh, resource base here. So uh, it looks like he just uh, uses the scorpions as a distraction to uh, just dive onto the resource base uh, with the falcons. So, you know, let's see if uh, that ends up being worth it for him. It looks like he is going to get it. And I do a very poor job here now of bringing my uh, heavy hunters in. Um, I try to save this base and uh, it looks like I uh, completely failed to bring my heavy hunters in. I needed to uh, teleport my recalls in and then have my heavy hunters immediately there uh, ready to back them up and start picking off these uh, falcons. So it uh, looks like they get stuck a bit on my or on my opponent's uh, scorpions there. And so, you know, a good job to him as well for using those scorpions as a, uh, a wall to kind of body block against my heavy uh, hunters there. Uh, but I think if I played that better, um, I could have gotten my heavy hunters around his scorpions and uh, into the fight quicker. And I think I, I could have won that fight. So you can see if we keep going here, um, I let the Falcons get a bit too close to uh, my Heavy Hunter there, and they take that out. And uh, he's still even got a few um, Scorpions here that uh, are just kind of being a nuisance. Um, they're not doing all too much, um, but uh, they're just getting the, in the way of my units um, and where my units want to go. I need to take out the uh, Falcons. That is the top priority for me here. And um, he's just doing a good job of uh, getting in my way, so I can't do that. So, so here now, I can kind of see that um, I have kind of lost the fight because of my poor uh, positioning and whatnot. And so... Uh, I'm trying to fall back and kind of regroup and regather here. So the nice thing about the uh, heavy hunters is they are very fast, actually. Uh, they got great range and they're very fast. And so uh, you can kind of sometimes uh, catch your opponent off guard with how fast those are. And so it's good um, that I'm able to kind of push up a little bit with those, get some shots off on the Falcons, and then hopefully try to get away here. However, I might have overextended. We'll see. I got more uh, heavy hunter reinforcements coming in here. Um, still not doing a great job of kiting, but uh, this is a little bit better now. I need to uh, keep the pressure up on him. Um, not let his uh, falcons get away for free uh, any uh, damage i can do to them is going to be good for me now we see he's uh, going for uh, his own uh, second uh, resource space um, so that tells me now that he's going to be down a lot of resources that he just used um, for the resource space and it also tells me that he's going to uh, commit to falling back and trying to be more defensive now uh, so i have uh, the choice now i can either uh, wait and try to save up my own resources to expand yet again um, and i could try playing on the more defensive side then or i can take this opportunity now to uh, make an attack against him when he's down some resources and see if i can overwhelm him at this point so let's see how this goes it looks like i'm going to try to be aggressive here and take advantage of him being down some resources 
However, he's still got a good amount of scorpions here. So uh, it just goes to show that I um, haven't done a very good job to, up to this point um, of taking these fights while um, kiting um, against his scorpions. Uh, if I do a good enough job kiting his scorpions and focusing you know, one scorpion at a time, um, I should be able to win that fight in the long run. And so uh, this just goes to show that my uh, micro has been uh, pretty lacking in this game. And uh, it also looks like he's just doing a good job of uh, putting those scorpions up as a barrier and a wall uh, to protect his uh, uh, falcons. As you can see here, I'm not really in range um, of these falcons, um, and I'm having a hard time getting in range of the falcons. So maybe I'm uh, overestimating the uh, scorpions a little bit. It looks like I'm pulling back too far and, you know, getting uh, one of my heavy hunters uh, picked off. Or sometimes this just happens. Sometimes you have a bad game. So uh, sometimes you just chalk it up to that. It's always good to try to uh, learn from this and uh, hopefully try to fix this as you go forward and keep playing. So um, we can see uh, I'm letting another uh, heavy hunter get picked off here. Another one getting picked off by uh, the scorpions here. And so overall, um, I'm just not doing a great job of positioning my army. I need to do a better job of trying to protect the heavy hunters. And I need to do a better job of maneuvering them around and try to get to the falcons. Um, I also probably need to do a little better job with the uh, king crabs as well, getting them up there tanking. Um, but uh, I think I'm just getting blocked by my own units and his units too much. Um, so I got uh, four heavy hunters here now, which, you know, theoretically in a, a straight up 1v1 fight against uh, falcons and heavy hunters, um, it'd be a lot easier to micro the heavy hunters um, and take on this many falcons. But at this point, he's got a big enough group that uh, it, it probably isn't going to fare too well for my heavy hunters at this point, uh, just because of all the other uh, scorpions and everything that he's got going there as well. So um, he's doing a good, good job of targeting and focusing my king crab picking off units, and I'm just not getting my uh, heavy hunters in range of the falcons quick enough to uh, be able to kite them. So so I'm just losing too much here now, and I can see I'm not going to be able to turn this around with what I got. So uh, I just uh, give in there and surrender, and uh, GG's to my opponent. Very uh, well played by him. Um, I think I should have had the uh, better uh, units there if I uh, played with them better, uh, if I positioned them correctly. And really, it just comes down to using those uh, heavy hunters more effectively. You got to make sure you get them into the correct range uh, where they're able to shoot at the Falcons, uh, but also have a chance to back up and kite the Falcons as well, because the Falcons will take them out pretty quickly if you let them get on top of your uh, heavy hunters. So um, just a good lesson in uh, units um, and army positioning there, and something I can uh, hopefully definitely improve upon uh, going forward in the future here. So I thought that would be an interesting game for you guys. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. I want to thank you guys as always for uh, joining me. And if you enjoy this type of thing, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I very much appreciate that. Uh, I'll uh, see you guys again soon in the next one.